Okay, hang on. Let me adjust this camera and I'll be right back. There I am, or here I am. Just wanted to show you our uh, offering chest we have. Uh, we use this for our Lottie Moon Christmas offering, and everyone comes and passes by and puts their offering in the chest on our special Sunday during Christmas. And we just did that. Uh, and we are, by our giving, making sure that our missionaries stay on the, uh, on the field, uh, stay where they are, so they don't have to come back and raise money. Uh, but we ensure their uh, time and financial uh, needs while they're serving around the world. Well, welcome to Parish Prayers and Beyond. We're glad you're here. and We're glad uh, that you have joined us for this Parish Prayers and Beyond Extra. I'm glad that you could join us this evening. Uh, during Christmas, uh, we usually take some Wednesdays off. Uh, to allow time for people to gather with their families and travel if they need to travel. So tonight, this is the third week of Advent, and we're talking about joy. Joy is one of the great blessings of Christmas. It shows up at Christmas um, with beautiful music. Joy is manifested in the giving and receiving of presents. Joy can also be evident in reconnecting with family. I know that's true because last Saturday I was able to uh, spend some time with my family and I was able to finally meet my newest niece, Winifred. Uh, so I was able to see her and Eleanor and Genevieve uh, and my niece and nephew and uh, uh, just and my brother and my mom and dad uh, and uh, my nephew's wife. Uh, and my niece's husband had to work, and I hated that. I, I, I didn't get to see him. But I did get to reconnect with my family, and there is a joy in that. But do you know something? Um, I know you know some things, but guess what? Did you, do you know that true joy is not dependent upon circumstances? Joy is a gift from God even when times are tough. Joy is contagious. Um, Nancy Grace uh, tells a story about joy that I want to share with you this evening. She writes, One December, when our small group caroled at a local rehab rehabilitation center, I noticed some residents joined in the singing while others did not. One man in a wheelchair frowned as uh, we sang and frowned through every song. No hint of a smile at all. She says, I could see that life had been hard on him and his, he, he had physical weaknesses there, uh, just being in the wheelchair. Um, and she said, his face was stern, his eyes were sad. When she asked him if he would join in the singing, he said no, shook his head. He didn't move away from us, but remained in the hall near us. Soon his lips formed the words of a familiar carol. I thought you weren't going to sing. Her husband asked him. It was too hard not to do it, is what was his reply. As much as he tried, he couldn't resist it. His eyes grew a little brighter. The power of Christmas joy drew him in. Well, what is it about Christmas joy that affects us? Joy comes with the birth of Jesus. The Old Testament prophecies uh, about salvation had, have, had been fulfilled in him. God kept his word and the word became flesh. This is a reason for joy. Joy is expressed through music, retelling the story of Jesus' birth. In the first two chapters of the Gospel of Luke, there are four different songs about Jesus' birth. There's uh, Elizabeth's song, Mary's song, Zacharias's song, and Simeon's song. And all of these reflect on the wonder and joy at what the Lord has done. Joy comes from God. The angels proclaimed it. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today in this town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. The message brought the joy of salvation. The birth of Christ brought joy into this world. 
we must share this message of Christmas joy and spread it to those around us. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room. Let heaven and nature sing. My prayer for you as we approach Christmas is that you will be able to celebrate in the midst of it all some of you I know have lost loved ones and I know it's going to be difficult this year. I know it's going to be hard, but you can focus on Jesus. You can focus on what God has given to you. I want to urge you to do that. In fact, can I pray for you? May I pray for you? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for my friend who may be experiencing a troubled Christmas, a difficult Christmas a time where they wish their loved one could be with them, and they are not. God, I pray that you would bring comfort and joy to them. Lord, bring them comfort and bring them joy in ways that only you can. Lord, help those of us who know those who are hurting to reach out to them. Help us to do that. Help us to reach out to them and help them to know that we care and that we're thinking of them during this time of Christmas, this time of celebration. Father, thank you for this past year. Lord, if you so choose to give us a new year, may we approach it with great joy, and may we approach it holding your hand through it all. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. From all of us here at the First Baptist Church, we want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Come join us, will you, this Sunday morning or possibly even this Sunday evening at 6 p.m. We have a Christmas Eve service that will surely help you to get in the Christmas spirit. Again, we have some prayer requests coming up in just a few moments and some announcements. So join us, will you? Until next time, until I guess next year, this has been Parish Prayers and beyond.